Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D and today guys we're going inside of Ikana Castle but before you do there's a couple things I'd like to talk about first off we really didn't go into too much depth what the Gaurus Mask does and Master you called <gasps> what are you and yes this is an encounter with a Garo. they are really really easy they serve a very practical purpose. Regrettable. Although you are my rival, you are spectacular. I shall take my final bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. In entering Ikana Castle, there is another secret route apart from the well entrance. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse, that is the way of the Goro. Yeah, kind of a dark thing for a Zelda game. Now, if you do not have the Goro's Mask on, they will not appear. <laughs> so, you could... Honestly, you can beat the game without the tips, but it is somewhat easy or somewhat nice. And it also does this. It makes re-deads become harmless. The Gibdo Mask also does this, and so does the Captain's Mask. You know what? We'll just take care of these re-deads real quick. Mostly because I would love some rupees. And hey, I get red rupee. Red rupee! Yeah. Reminds me when I was a little kid, I was like, Red Ruby, yum! Because of the stupid Red Robin commercial. Anywho, now that's been <laughs> delved into. Ikana Castle, I love it to death, but it's not a very long place. And in this next room, we are going to do a very short puzzle. Now, Ikana Castle, it, it is basically split up into two paths. There's the left path, which we're going to be doing first because... You should do it first, and then there's the right path, which basically leads us to what we want here. It'll take us to the King of Ikana Castle, which we'll get into eventually. But first, we need to become a Deku Scrub, and then push down on the switch. It feels like it forever since we used the uh, Deku form, hasn't it? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, probably is just me, considering I'm the one playing the game. There's a bunch of Skulltillas in here. And also, if Mary serves me alright... <gasps> Crap. <laughs> that was apparently not where that platform was. Let's try that again! Alright. Third times the charm. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, there's an invisible platform here, which I could take the time to show you with the lens of truth. You know what? Maybe we should do that. And you know what? Maybe we shouldn't. And save a little bit of time. That's why I kind of want to destroy the rest of the Skulltillas in that room. You know, just for the sake of being informative let us show off this platform it's made of ice so that's that's something uh, <laughs> you know how I love my ice platforms man I, I, I just can't get enough of my just can't get I love ice man it's great in your drink and here's some bubbles I don't give no crap about no bubbles man cuz I am in a hurry cuz that's a three-day cycle I think there's actually um if I remember right there is a Garo yeah, I think right here I can't see it, but I sense there's a thirst of blood looming all around us. You have a mask that can summon the unseen. That would be the Garo's mask, and yes, I do. But for the time being, we're not really too interested in that. Dang it, why did I put away my Deku mask? When we were going to need it again, literally right now, who knows. And now we're at the top of Ikana Castle. You gosh dang guys, stop that. It's very rude. And are there any more? I'm, I'm going to actually probably, I'm going to actually probably maybe shoot some guys here. Because I do not want them to disturb me when I'm trying to push this next switch. Mm. So we're going to fly over that really quickly. There's also a piece of heart that we want to get at the roof. Coming from the left side. And yeah, we're going to push that switch first. And ooh, a sunroof. Yeah, or more or less just a crack in the ceiling. Either one, though. <laughs> Anyways, let's put our Deku mask back on and return to Ikana Castle. And Ikana Castle is just one of those things. I can't describe to you why I like it. I was thinking about it before recording, and I'm like, I, ju I just like it. There oh, are you see? Okay, good. <laughs> you gosh dang. I hate the Gways. I hate Gways. Not as much as bats, but they definitely are annoying in this game. For whatever reason. I'm pretty sure they just do the same thing as Ocarina in time though. But I feel like there's three times as more ways in this game. Well, I guess really only in this area. Anywho. Pointless complaining aside. Let's shoot this crystal switch. Which uh. 
yeah, it's gonna make this happen. I'm really glad I made that jump because if I did not, I would have to do a little bit of backtracking and this goy is gonna mess me up. So we're gonna have to hurry and go over to this platform and maybe, just maybe, oh darn, I was too slow. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, that is unfortunate. Instead, what you're supposed to do is supposed to be patient and fly your way over to this piece of heart. You get, get away from me, you gosh dang birds. I'm not, I'm not even, get, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that is annoying, but yeah, you should probably take care of those before you go after the piece of heart. Do I follow my own advice? No, but you should anyways. So that is basically half of Ikana Castle already taken care of the other half which damn we're running we're learning we're running pretty low on magic i'll have to fix that at some point and yeah let's see what happens if we don't have the gibdos mask on hey guys what's going on okay okay peace out dude peace out peace out, peace out. <laughs> yeah it's kind of unsettling let's not get attacked by those guys man and, uh what's up oh you're a floor master. That's cool. My cousin was a floor master. And hey, we can get rid of that block. Neato. Let's just destroy the rest of these hands. Where, where are you going? Where are you going, Becky? You don't even you don't even know the economic climate, do you? No, you don't. And wow, we're getting a lot of rupees in here. And yet again, these redes <laughs> can be uh taken care of with a Gibdo mask. They'll just uh, act all natural. Like this guy, by the way. It's kind of a funny little Easter egg. And you also, uh, with a light source, destroy Gibdos. And I think every time we do this, it, this way, see if I can angle it properly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it. But I'm pretty sure you get a red rupee every time. So keep that in mind if you're running a little bit low on whoops. And man, what? Well, Wait, okay, no, I was gonna 15, I'm like, wait, why? I'd want more blue rupees, that's 25, but that is obviously not how that works, and boss, rematch time versus Wizrobe? A, uh, fire Wizrobe, actually. Yeah, I don't know why this is even a part of <laughs> Ikana Castle, it's definitely the most awkward portion. But now that we have our Gilded Sword, we can actually attack him instead of firing arrows. And do way more damage. Yeah. I guess they want you to use like ice arrows or something since you use your fire arrows to beat them the first time, but this is basically just as good. I don't I don't know. I don't even know what he's doing here, man. Leave. Just die already. Yeah, and wow, we actually skipped the cutscene. Wait, does it do the cutscene? No, it doesn't really. Who cares? Wizrobe. You were cool the first time and not really the second or third time. Not gonna lie. Oh man, we probably want this. <laughs> man, look at this guy. He's like, I ain't got time for y'all, man. I'm a smooth jiving boy. Anyways, he's gonna be destroyed too because I hate jive. I don't speak no jive lingo. Seven people got that joke. <laughs> Either way. Wow, holy crap, we have like no rupees coming in here. We're like 255, the maximum level in a lot of video games for coding reasons. I'm not, what do we need to do now? Other than avoid guays. Well, to answer your that question, we're going to finally use that powder keg I told you to purchase earlier. You really want the powder keg here? Because we can't advance without it. So get that Goron mask on and... Uh, I took the Gwei with me. Nice. And we don't really fall down. We just fall to the next area. And, uh, don't, pardon me, boys. And yeah, as you can see, Light Source kind of destroys us. Now, what? I thought it was like an increased chance to get a red rupee. Or am I thinking... Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Pardon me. Anyways, we're going to shine some light on this block problem whatever dumb joke let's continue but before i do that i actually want to select a couple of masks and you guys may know why but trust me trust me there are a few out there that do not know of this secret i'm actually gonna put bremen on why there we go let's step into the court of the king of ikana i hope you're ready guys because this ain't gonna be easy actually it will be but shut up it's gonna be awesome so Dramatic! <gasps> the throne room. 
of the king of Ikana Castle. Oh, insolent one, who has brought the unthinkable into a land as dark as Ikana. My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live is after all fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes just what kind of thing true darkness really is! Ah? Uh, Bremen Mask. Wah 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 Oh. Crap! I can't fight with a brown mask on! Yeah, that's just a little bit of an easter egg before fighting these guys. Oh man, they are ruthless! Let's shine some light on this subject. <laughs> this is the third time I'm good. I'm gonna use that joke a lot, just FYI. Yeah, and whoa! Light. Nice. Whoa. The, the darkness doesn't like the light. Then we should make less darkness. <laughs> I'm not a sane human being. I think we all know that at this point. So now we actually have a fighting chance versus these undead warriors. Uh, yeah, you can just spin attack constantly and eventually they'll drop their guard. And when they do that, head over to this light source, aim your mirror shield appropriately. Eh, I guess he was too far away. Darn it. Come on, go find the light. Come on. Eh, okay. One hit. Two hit. All right. Two hits with Gilded Sword. It's pretty embarrassing, but yes, shoot a ray of light at their remains to permanently defeat them. It's kind of cool. I actually like that concept a lot. We're actually gonna try and run past this dude and do the same. But if you actually kill them in the light, pretty much instant kills them. You need to get a good angle, and there we go. Two down. One more to go. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, that movement he does. It's pretty funny. But what if we put on a different mask? <laughs> Just it was a dorky face. <laughs> oh, Gita! Is it not Captain Gita? But you're so tiny. Yeah. I was nearly fooled by you. Yeah, that's just, I don't know, I really like that a lot. It's like, pretty funny. Did you just take off your head, sir? Sir, please put your head back on. I can't actually damage you if memory serves me right without your head. So please put your head back on. But yeah, we're basically going to fight this guy the same way we fought his two other minions. Problem is... We need to actually get to him. And all right, let's keep spin attacking. Maybe hit him with our. Oh man, he just moved himself wide open with that one. He kind of overshot that. Cool thing about Link is he's sort of tiny, like the king said. Then yeah, this guy's pretty easy. Just banish his body with the lights, and there we go. We did it. And uh, can I help you? You're blocking me. Get out of the way. I could still get him. Blocking you? The reason he beat us is because he was so feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? Just try to say that again to my booty face. Feeble? Feeble, 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 feeble. Shut up already! Don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Ikana. The greatest swordsman in all of Ikana? You? Feeble! Draw your weapon! Eh? Huh? I'm telling you to draw your sword! Uh, how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys will be doing any sword fighting anytime soon. Will you stop? What fools! Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined. And us left in this state. Isn't it petty? Little battles like this that have 
caused it. Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our hearts. It had all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. You will bring light into darkness. I am the king of Ikana Kingdom. Egos do Ikana. The spell binding that had been cast upon us was broken by the light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower where the winds of darkness blow through. But Stone Tower Temple is an impenetrable stronghold. Even hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not be able to topple it. It is as far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so, I grant to you a soldier who has no heart, one will who will not falter in the darkness. You learned the Elegy of Emptiness. It's a mystical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. By playing this song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave up to four empty shells. One for each form. A soldier who has no heart is your twin image. A shell of yourself that you will shed when your song commands it. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Okay. So yeah, this is the creepiest thing in any Zelda game. Like, can we just say that? It's kind of disturbing. But hey, we got a brand new song, so... Later, man. Yeah, we're going to be leaving here. And yeah, Igus do Okana. <laughs> He's actually a pretty cool character, and I like the humor of the actually interjected in that scene. It was very, very cool. But now we have the tool we need to climb the stone tower. The Elegy of Emptiness is the one thing we needed to actually get to stone tower. I mean, we can get to it, as I said, we can get to it at any point. But now that we have the Elegy, we can actually make some progress, which is going to be very, very exciting. Uh -uh. But FYI, um, you should probably write down that song because we're going to be playing it a lot. No, man, there's a lot I want to talk about in Stone Tower. So this next episode may be sort of a long one. Yes, climbing Stone Tower itself is worthy of an episode. Not actually entering the tower, but just getting there. That says a lot about this place, and guys, we're going to tackle that in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we get ready to take on the fourth and final temple. So see you guys then.